Hey everybody, it's Carl. Welcome to the bathroom. It's time for the uh, Tuesday scrape, birthday edition. Yeah, today's my birthday. 44 years old. And uh, some days I feel like I'm 84. Anyway, hope everybody's having a great week. My day and my uh, week have been good so far. I have been on vacation, just hanging out at the house, wasting time, <coughs> which is uh, no big deal. So, I don't know how many days of growth since Sunday. So, uh, for the shave stuff, I'm just discombobulated. I uh, wasn't planning on making this video, but then I remembered. I gotta do my birthday shave. So, what are we using? Well, we're using the stuff that I started with on my birthday. I don't know, three, four years ago, however long ago it was, when I decided I wanted to give wet, wet shaving a try, and it all started with this stuff. First item, the Magic Touch 1. This is probably a Wishi or a Wishi-like razor, uh, marketed here in the States as the Micro Touch 1, uh, made famous by the bald guy from the reality pawn shop TV show. Anyway, this was the first razor I bought. I bought it at the local drugstore. It was about $20. Came with two packs of these Dorco ST300s. Uh, you could also order it for, like as seen on TV, and it came with a year's worth of those blades. Um, so picked this up at the local grocery or drugstore, and while I was there, I had to get the shaving kit. So I got the kit, the Vanderhagen Deluxe Kit. Came with the green bore brush and the green shaving bowl and a puck of the Vanderhagen Deluxe Shave Soap. Not a bad soap, it's you know, you can buy it if you can find the pucks, they sell them for under two dollars or around two dollars. Buck 97, I think the last time I bought a puck at the local grocery store. It's got a clean, fresh scent, it lathers relatively well, it does a decent job. The post shave feel is a little dry, but it's not a bad beginner soap. It's not a bad soap in general. You could use it every day with no problems whatsoever. Um, and definitely for two bucks for a puck, it would be all right. So just gonna do a little quick lather here. I probably should have taken it out since I'm gonna have to take it out and clean it off anyway. Um, I feel kind of weird using a different soap. This is like only the Third, maybe fourth time I've used not the Bay Rum concoction um, but I wanted to have the traditional YouTube birthday shave um, like I said this has kind of been my birthday tradition for a few years since I started my channel um, I don't remember if this was the first shave I ever videoed um, but uh, it's definitely the stuff I used for my first shave on my birthday. And if you have heard the story before, sorry to bore you, but here's the story. Three or four years ago, I was tired of shaving. Shaving was no fun. I had seen the commercials um, from the pawn shop guy about getting a better shave, getting a closer shave, spending less money on shaving. That's a joke. Save hundreds of dollars a year with a, instead of buying disposable, just swap the blades, buy a razor once, blah, blah, blah. So I figured I'd give it a shot. First couple of shaves were miserable because uh, I didn't understand. Well, actually, let me go back. Watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how to shave. Guys like uh, Nick Shaves, um, Paul H, Mantic, 59 were some of the guys I watched when I first started. And... Uh, Rushed over to the store and bought the stuff. They had me convinced that it was the way to go. It looked cool, it looked interesting, something different, unique. Little did I know everybody and their mom was gonna start wet shaving that year. No, not really. But anyway, um, and so the first, I don't know, handful, the first shave was miserable because I didn't understand that you don't use pressure. I didn't really know how to make a good lather. I. Uh, overshaved ridiculously. I did do the three pass thing that I saw those guys do in, in, in YouTube land, but I'm uh, pretty sure I did it wrong. And I blamed the razor instead of the user. And so then it got me to buying different razors and trying different blades and different soaps and down the rabbit hole I went. When in all honesty, this little razor 
It's not the greatest, um, but it's not bad. It gets good shaves for a $20 starter razor if you're patient enough to learn how to use it. This could be the only razor you need. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of twist to open razors per se. I don't think they are aggressive enough for my beard growth. So I do tend to overshave with them and not get the smoothest shaves. But if that's what you got and that's all you got, it's a very serviceable razor. And uh, I don't know if I held it up long enough or you guys are probably familiar because he's been out for a long time. It's a Gillette clone. It's a... Uh, so... Um, and I know a lot of guys, a lot of guys on YouTube and just a lot of guys in general bought these things because they sold like crazy for a little while. I guess the marketing from the pawn shop guy it's pretty good because who doesn't want to not spend you know 10 bucks 12 15 bucks for you know three or four packs of replaced uh, cartridge replacements you know they were getting ridiculously expensive and they still are um, hi I haven't bought any in a while but even if you buy like the store brand disposable three or four blade jobbers they're still kind of up there the last time I bought some for head shaving but <sighs> thought I was gonna save money then I ended up with a cabinet full of stuff and straight razors and shavettes and brushes and bowls and I didn't save any money I have more shaving stuff than I can ever use in my lifetime as is evident by this puck of soap that I've only been used. This is the only soap I've used this year, with the exception of three or four shaves. It's gonna last me probably till the end of the year. Granted, that's probably six ounces of soap, but still, the average puck of soap or tub of soap will probably last a person who shaves every other day or so about a year. Eight months would be my guess. And I only shave like every other day, so. But that's it. This is my birthday shave. It's been a good day, guys. I mean, I slept in, um, started a new rucking challenge yesterday. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know what it is, but you guys who have been faithful watchers. I know I've started rucking for exercise instead of uh, doing normal cardio stuff, which is, uh, so, I, and I did, I finished my, uh, my July challenge, 1776, 17.76 miles. I finished that up um, at the end of last week. So on Monday, I started a new <clears throat> rucking challenge which was to rock 86 flights of stairs to honor the 86 U.S. firefighters who lost their life in 2018. Um, five of those men were from my home state. One of them was actually from my home city. So I made little ID badges with their names and their departments and the date of their passing, attached it to my rucksack and uh, have been climbing the stairs at my apartment complex. So yesterday was the first day of the challenge. And I, uh, I rucked up 60 flights of stairs with uh, 20 pounds in my pack. And uh, that was rough. I thought my back was gonna spasm on me last night. So I uh, took a muscle relaxer, some anti-inflammatories, put some lidocaine Cream, like icy hot with lidocaine on my back and uh, crawled into bed. Slept in late because of it. Uh, slept until about 8.30, which was fantastic. What a great way to spend your birthday sleeping in. Woke up, started my day. My back was a little... a little achy and I just kept waiting 
for it to seize up on me, but it never did. Thank goodness. And uh, so this evening I finished my rucking. I uh, threw on my backpack, grabbed the bottle of water, and finished the challenge. And actually ended up rucking up 100 flights total. Um, just because I felt good enough to do it. Wanted to really give the effort for those men who lost their lives. And uh, that was it. So that challenge is completed. And I'm just looking for the next one. I'm going to take tomorrow off, let my body rest. Um, and that was it. No, uh, no birthday cake, no birthday pizza, which was really hard. I kept trying to convince myself that birthday calories don't count and I could eat cake and pizza today, or at least pizza, because there's no cake. I had a little cake on Sunday. One piece, German chocolate. My sister made it. It was delicious. Um, my brother and my sister had a little uh, shindig at his place. Um, Sunday afternoon, just cold, you know, lunch meat sandwiches and a little bit of cake and some chips. And uh, the nephews were swam. Everybody swam but me. I kind of went in between church. I went right after church, and you know we do the split service thing. We do the the morning service and the afternoon service. And I didn't think far enough ahead to bring a bathing suit or even shorts. So while they were swimming in the pool, I was just hanging out. We talked for a while. We had sandwiches and cake, and uh, it was just good time with the family, which is nice. We never we don't get together quite enough. So, oops, let me just nick myself. And so that was really nice. And uh, yeah, so no cake for me. I did have a cake flavored, a birthday cake flavored protein bar, if that counts. I don't know. <laughs> and that's it. I just took, took it easy today. Like I said, I'm on vacation this week, not doing anything, not going out of town, not. <sighs> nothing to do, just really burning time. Figured. I'd much rather be off doing nothing and relaxing on my birthday than being at work. Tons of birthday wishes from friends and family by text and phone call and Facebook message and all that good stuff. So this is a good day. And now I'm getting a very nice shave, anniversary shave, birthday shave, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what I'm going to do when these Dorco blades are all gone. <laughs> the soap I can find. I haven't looked for the Dorco blades. I'm sure they're on Amazon or something if I need to ever replace them. Or I'll just stop this tradition when they're gone. And use a different blade. I don't know. So, that's the shave. There's not much to it. Um, not the closest. This is a very mild, mild razor. The soap is plenty slick. As you can see, I can, you know, I'm able to go over. No irritation do some of these pickups. Um, I'm probably going to end up being overshaved. But it's just because with this mild razor chasing baby butt smooth is it's rough. It's I don't even think I could call it a DFS. My neck is still pretty stubbly, yeah, but I don't want to overshave anymore. So let me get rinsed off. See what the alum says. It's definitely much better than the first time or the second time or the fifth time I use that razor. Oh yeah, definitely much better. A little tingle down at the base of the neck. But that's about it. Not the closest shave by any means, but if it was what I had, if it was the only razor I had, I could still get shaves that would pass for work shaves. No problem. Um, yeah, <laughs> what can I say? It's, it was, uh, kind of an impulse buy, not super expensive, not something I use very much at all, except for, for my anniversary shaves, but it works. It, it's not a bad little razor. Um, I'm happy I bought it. I'm happy I got into wet shaving the brush. You guys know, I still use this pretty regularly. The bowl, I don't do much with that, um, anymore. It sits on my my shelf mostly because I don't do a lot of bowl lathering and it's kind of small for bowl lathering 
it's good for soaking the brush in. What else can I say? That's it, man. It's a beautiful shave with my first stuff on a great birthday. 44 years around this, 44 trips around the sun. Couldn't have asked for anything more. Uh, it's been a blessed day. Thank you guys and gals for spending a little time with me on my birthday. Hope you enjoyed the shave. Sorry there wasn't anything super exciting about it. Hope you have a great day. Great evening. Great week. Go spend some time with your friends and family because it is very important. I'll see you in the next shave or the next walk or the next coffee making video. Those really haven't taken off. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing them. But I don't know. My neighbors, nice to meet you too, guys. Happy birthday. Anyway, <laughs> I'll talk with you guys later. Thanks. Have a great evening. God bless. We'll see you next time.